absolutely. And the rewards for doing that are astronomical. You know, there's no disconnect here by being sort of a, an enlightened, mindful leader and, and being successful. This is core to success. Welcome back. I've got Ian Lowe with me again. Hello, Ian. Hi, John. Hey, we've had lots of great discussions and thank you very much for your time and your thoughts. Um, but one of the things that, that crosses my mind, particularly in the last discussion, we were talking about our intent, etc. Mm -hmm. A lot of it comes back to the way we see ourselves, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It does. It does. And I, I think this is this is something I think about a, a great deal as well. And uh, I, I think um, with, with what we've been talking about recently in terms of the, the, the volatility uh, in the world, you know, this is this vodka mm -hmm. era that we find ourselves in. I think we really need to examine uh, the roles that we play in our own lives and also in, in our professional lives. I think we need to see ourselves as, as, as leaders. I think Sylvia Damiano uh, from the About My Brain Institute said it really well to me recently. He said, we, we need to own our own leadership. Right. And what does she mean by that? What does she mean by that? He says, you know, we, we need to see ourselves. You know, I think, think about that, that, that the era we're in right now. Is there's so much volatility, so much complexity, uncertainty, ambiguousness. You know, what do leaders do? Leaders inspire people into action very despite good point. all the uh, uh all the barriers and obstacles that they face how do you inspire so you're saying we should all be leaders we are you know i think that we are all leaders we all have the ability the capability and i think maybe even now the responsibility if you think about sales in the sales environment there are more stakeholders these days, especially in larger sales. Oh, right? Tell me about it. More it's, complex it's, sales. It's very complex. Yeah. Longer sales cycles, more stakeholders, uh, more competitors. You know, there's never been a, a more urgent requirement for us to be able to lead all stakeholders through all the different stages of the buying process than now. You know, if, so we, to do that, we need to see ourselves as leaders. Uh, and I, I guess we need to see ourselves as being very capable individuals right from the ground up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, yeah. It's not enough just knowing the steps of your sales process. Just following that is not going to be enough anymore. But we can't pretend we're leaders. No. I mean, one of the issues I, I come up with in the personal branding arena all the, time, all the time is people, they try and pretend to be something they're not. Mm. And if they put up this persona mm. and everybody sees through it very quickly. Yeah. So... Isn't there a danger if we say we're going to be a leader that we pretend to be a leader? Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, it's a huge danger. And I think that's part of the problem. There's been this pretense in the past, this sort of mask wearing, and that's caused uh, a dilution of trust between buyers and sellers. You know, I can sense that... And leaders and, and followers. And leaders and followers, that there's some disconnect. And we've all seen those leaders, right? They stand up and share a vision to the public or in the pages of the uh, corporate report. Put it up report, on the wall. Put it up on the wall, that's it. And then they behave in ways that are entirely disconnected with what they just said. Exactly. And what, do, what effect does that have on you? Uh, well, I'm not going to follow them. I'm, I'm certainly not going to believe in the vision they just... That's right. For me. And the same question is, why should the client follow you? You know, why should that client follow you through the steps of a process? So, so you need to be authentic in yourself. Mm. You need to believe in yourself, mm. uh, and you need to be a leader, mm. um, but but authentically as yourself. Absolutely, and all that, that entails, and that takes work. It takes dedication. It takes passion. It takes commitment. It takes purpose. It takes more than the narrow field of vision we've normally had in sales. And I guess going back to the earlier discussion we had, uh, it, it's, it's, it's something that, that we really have to get help with. We need mentors, we need coaches. Yeah. We, we, again, all of this we can't do on our own. We can't, you know, uh, and uh, it, it's all critical because uh, it, it's no longer um, a, um, an option. It's critical. It's critical to our individual team organizational success that we're able to step up and going right back to a discussion we had uh, a while ago uh, if we all are going to change the world and we we have that ability to change the world we have to really change ourselves first absolutely and the rewards for doing that are astronomical you know there's no disconnect here by being sort of a, an enlightened mindful leader and, and being successful this is core to success. Hey, Ian, you're a great leader. You're inspiring me to really be much better than I am. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Thank you, John. And hopefully you've inspired the audience out there. <laughs> also, I, I, hope, I really hope so. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs>